I read the notes from your school counselor. Mrs. Bronstein. She had a nervous breakdown after our last session. Had to take a six-month sabbatical. Sabbatical. A period of time when college or university teachers are allowed to stop their usual work in order to study or travel, usually while continuing to be paid. Professor Pinker will be on sabbatical this term. Go ahead and take a seat. How did you feel about that? Vindicated. Vindicate. If a person or their decisions, actions, or ideas are vindicated, they are proved to be correct. After people have said that they were wrong, it also refers to proving that someone is not guilty or is free from blame after other people blamed them. The investigation vindicated her complaint about the newspaper. A new piece of evidence will vindicate the defendant. But someone who crochets for a hobby is a worthy adversary. Crochet. To make clothes and other things using wool and a special needle with a hook at one end. My mother crocheted a hat for me. It can also refer to clothes and other things made with crochet. Or the activity of crochet. Hand crochet was the theme in the show. Adversary, I hope we can forge a relationship based on trust and mutual respect. Forge. To move forward in a determined way, although progress is difficult. He forged a career for himself as a doctor. Forge can also refer to the process of making an illegal copy of something in order to deceive. A forged passport. A forged signature. This is a safe space Wednesday, a sanctuary where we can discuss anything. Sanctuary. Protection or a safe place, especially for someone or something being chased or hunted. Illegal immigrants found sanctuary in a local church. What you're thinking, feeling, your views on the world, personal philosophy. That's easy. I think that this is a waste of time. I see the world as a place that must be endured. Endure. To experience and bear something difficult, painful, or unpleasant. We had to endure a 10-hour delay at the airport. And my personal philosophy is kill or be killed. So, for instance, when someone bullies your brother, your response is to dump piranha in the pool. Piranha. A dangerous fish that lives in South American rivers. Has sharp teeth and eats meat. You know the old saying, never bring a knife to a sword fight. Unless it's concealed. The point is you assaulted a boy and showed no remorse for your actions. Remorse. A feeling of sadness and being sorry for something you have done. It is a very formal word. She felt no remorse for the murders she had committed. That's why you're here. He lost a testicle. I did the world a favor. People like Dalton shouldn't be allowed to procreate. I've answered all your questions. We're not done yet. Do your plans involve becoming an author? 
I understand you've written three novels about a teen girl detective, Viper de la Muerte. Can you tell me about her? Viper is smart, perceptive, chronically misunderstood. Perceptive. Able to notice and understand things that many other people do not notice. Her books are full of perceptive insights. Any luck getting your work published? Editors are short-sighted fear-based life forms. Short-sighted. Not thinking enough about how an action will affect the future. It's very short-sighted of the government not to invest in technological research. One wants to describe my writing as gratuitously morbid. Gratuitously. If you describe something as gratuitously, you mean that it is unnecessary and often harmful or upsetting. The magazine's gratuitously cruel article about her implies nasty, untrue things. Morbid. Too interested in unpleasant subjects, especially death. He has a morbid sense of humor. And suggested I seek psychiatric help. Psychiatric. Relating to the study of mental illness. He has been transferred to a psychiatric hospital. Ironic, isn't it? How did you take that? I sent her a thank you. <laughs> I've always been open to constructive criticism. Constructive. If advice, criticism, or actions are constructive, they are useful and intended to help or improve something. If you don't have anything constructive to say, it's better to say nothing. I'm glad to hear that. Because I was sent the manuscripts as part of your psych evaluation. The relationship I found most intriguing. Intriguing. Very interesting, because of being unusual or mysterious. She has a really intriguing personality. Was that a viper and her mother, Dominica? Why don't we dig into that? Dig into. Try to learn or uncover information by studying something. The detectives dug into his past and learned that he had once lived in another country. Dig into. To begin eating something. Mmm, yummy, yummy. They dug into their steaks. Dig into. To push something into a body part in a sharp and painful way. Oh. He dug his elbow into my ribs. Wednesday, part of this journey requires us going to uncomfortable places emotionally. I don't travel well. I read the notes from your school counselor. Mrs. Bronstein. She had a nervous breakdown after our last session. Had to take a six-month sabbatical. Go ahead and take a seat. How did you feel about that? Vindicated. But someone who crochets for a hobby is a worthy adversary. Adversary? I hope we can forge a relationship based on trust and mutual respect. This is a safe space Wednesday. A sanctuary where we can discuss anything. What you're thinking, feeling, your views on the world, personal philosophy. That's easy. I think that this is a waste of time. I see the world as a place that must be endured, 
and my personal philosophy is kill or be killed. So, for instance, when someone bullies your brother, your response is to dump piranha in the pool. You know the old saying, never bring a knife to a sword fight, unless it's concealed. The point is you assaulted a boy and showed no remorse for your actions. That's why you're here. He lost a testicle. I did the world a favor. People like Dalton shouldn't be allowed to procreate. I've answered all your questions. We're not done yet. Do your plans involve becoming an author? I understand you've written three novels about a teen girl detective, Viper de la Muerte. Can you tell me about her? Viper is smart, perceptive, chronically misunderstood. Any luck getting your work published? Editors are short-sighted, fear-based life forms. One once described my writing as gratuitously morbid and suggested I seek psychiatric help. Hmm. Ironic, isn't it? How did you take that? I sent her a thank you. I've always been open to constructive criticism. I'm glad to hear that. Because I was sent the manuscripts as part of your psych evaluation. The relationship I found most intriguing was that of Viper and her mother, Dominica. Why don't we dig into that? Wednesday, part of this journey requires us going to uncomfortable places emotionally. I don't travel well. 